Michigan lawmakers are trying to get the fiscal 2015 state budget completed before they go on summer recess. K-12 school funding is one of the featured items up for consideration. ABC 10 senior reporter Mike Hoey looked into the complex issue and now brings us that story. The Nagani Public Schools have their budget hearing coming up at their June 23rd Board of Education meeting. It'll be the final budget hearing that Superintendent Jim DeRocher will be involved with. We're looking at a, a budget of about just over $13 million. You know, and of that, almost 87% is dependent upon the state. As we make our best guess uh, for our budget for next year, and that's what, exactly what it is, it's a guess. I have to say that in Nagani, we've been lucky over the years that, that you know, we went through enrollment decline, but now it's kind of leveled off and come back a little bit for us, which has helped us. He's predicting the enrollment here at Nagani High School, combined with Nagani Middle School and Lakeview Elementary, to be about 1,500 students this fall. State Representative Bill Rogers of Brighton is a member of the Michigan House Appropriations Committee, and he chairs the Appropriations Subcommittee on Education. Rogers knows many districts are having a hard time, and he says Lansing is trying to help. In the four years we've had the budget, and been responsible for, we have increased funding. But that's not the only money that schools get. Foundation is, uh, you know, an easy one for everybody possibly to understand, but there's a lot of uh, categoricals. There's a lot of federal money that comes in, but it's for a specific purpose. So that is not just the only money that the education system has. But they don't tell you that it also costs us more money because they've taken things and now require the schools to pay for those things. You know, we're not being funded at, at a rate that would account for that inflation over the years, especially with the cost of health insurance, uh, with the cost of a retirement that we have to pay. I don't care if you're teachers or in your support staff, bus drivers or whatever, uh, they're seeing their paychecks shrink. Rogers says much of the problem comes from Michigan's population. It's increasing slowly right now, but Michigan is the only U.S. state to have lost residents since 2000. And since 2003, we have lost student population. When we peaked at 1.7 million kids, we're currently at slightly less than the number of kids we had in 1994. When you're really looking at it, we also can't afford to keep funding a system at its peak. It just simply doesn't work. And one other budgetary change in the last five years has been difficult to deal with as well. When we took over the budget, we had a substantial amount of stimulus money that went away. So the day that our committee sat down for the first time, we were handed basically a bill and saying, you've got to balance this budget for checking it out. And by the way, you have none of that federal money, so go to it. So it wasn't exactly an ideal situation. It's just... An interesting uh, cycle that we've gone through uh, with the start of Proposal A back in 1994 and to where we are now 20 years later. Uh, if they would have left all of the funding sources in Proposal A that were in the package when it was first uh, introduced and passed, we wouldn't be talking about this anymore. There's a formula in there for funding students uh, on a per people foundation. The state is not follow that funding pattern. DeRocher is retiring from the Nagani superintendent position at the end of June. In Nagani, Mike Hoey, ABC 10 and CW5 News Now.